Hello, I'm going to be explaining how to share data using academic terms. There are many ways to use academic terms. Uh, this one is specifically uh, for sharing a data, data set, uh, a large data set or a small data set, um, from one researcher to another. Okay, uh, so this is usually um, if the data is 30 gigabytes, uh, 7 terabytes, uh, this method uh, will work. Okay, so the data we want to share for this um, demo uh, is only um, a little bit over 100 megabytes. It's not too big. Uh, so it's a folder filled with three images, right? Uh, it could have multiple folders in here. Uh, the whole data set itself could just be one file. Uh, that doesn't matter, right? Uh, but we're going to send this entire folder, okay? So um, the first thing we need to do is go to academicturns.com and create an account and then go to this upload page. Right. Once you're at the upload page, right, uh, the first thing we need to do here is create a torrent file, right, to upload to academic torrents. Okay. So we don't actually move put the you know move the data onto academic torrents. Uh, we just put a torrent file, which is a, a skeleton um, of the file, right? So it's gonna explain to the person who's downloading it where the pieces go and how to, how to uh, reconstruct the file, right? It also validates uh, integrity of the data, making sure all the bits uh, are properly in their places, okay? All right, so what we can use to create the torrent file is the transmission BitTorrent client, right? So it works on all platforms, uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Um, if you open it up, you'll have an empty window here. Um, what you can do is click Create Torrent File, Right, it's going to open up a dialog for find a file. So we're going to select uh, the NASA MOLA data folder. We just hit select here. All right, it's going to open up this page um, asking for a few a few pieces of information before it creates that torrent file. Um, so the first thing we need is a tracker. So this has already been pre-populated, but I'm going to delete that and add it again just uh, to be clear. Okay, so that tracker address, that tracker URL, is specified right here. Um, it's also called the announce URL. Um, okay, so we're going to copy that and click add here and paste. Okay, now that's all set. Um, for the comment, we, we don't need to put anything. Uh, privacy, we control on academicturrents.com, so you won't, we won't mark that here. Uh, where to save the torrent file. So I want to save it right next to the data. So I'm going to choose the same folder that the data set is in. Okay. Um, and then I want to leave this unchecked. <clears throat> it's convenient to check it. Uh, this says open when created. So when we finish, when I hit create here, um, it's asking if I want to open the torrent file right away. Uh, I don't want to do that because I want to show you how to open it later. Okay. So hit create. All right. So it's going to process all the imagery, all the files that are in there. Um, and then leave us with this .torrent file, all right? So we want to, that's the file that we want to put on the site, okay? So we can go back to academictorrents.com, right? Uh, start filling out this form. So we can do paper, we choose data set, all right? Uh, to specify the torrent file, we hit choose file, we find it, and double click, and it's loaded in here. Now uh, we got a green check mark. Uh, so that means everything went okay, um, and the, the torrent file is uh, good. Right, so we can uh, specify some some name for us. Right, so uh, NASA data right, demo. Okay, um, so the author is me. Okay, and uh, for the abstract, uh, I'm just going to put something. Uh, the, uh, for you. Okay, great. So we're going to scroll down. Um, now, this demo again was for a, from a researcher to another researcher. So it's probably not data you want to have public yet. Uh, so we want to uh, select not listed, right? Um, if we had, if we didn't check this, uh, we should have filled out a bunch of this information more to make it easier for other people to find it. But for this, uh, we're just going to be sending a link to somebody. Um, so there's no requirement there. And then we can hit upload. All right, it's going to give us this page um, showing us just an overview of this data. Uh, so this is the URL, the URL right here uh, that you'll send 
to the person that you want to receive this data. Okay, uh, and they'll go to this link um, and they'll, they'll either press download here uh, to open uh, a torrent client. So this is going to download a .torrent file that they can open, um, or it's going, or, or they're going to use some other way. Like the, the way I'm going to show in a moment is using the command line tool provided by Academic Torrents uh, to download this data, um, which works in uh, more academic settings than a than a regular um, torrent client. Uh, although we're rec we recommend the uh, transmission to our client, uh, which works really well. Okay, so what we can do now, so that we're not done yet, what we need to do is make sure that our local machine, the machine I'm working on right now, is actually hosting this data, right? Is actually uh, publishing this data, right? So we can, the transmission client will, will now do that. So we go to this um, torrent file, and we'll just open it up, all right? Uh, and we can see uh, that it has the files we want to share listed, right? Um, and then we need to specify the folder in which they're located on this machine, right? So we go to download to change, um, and we're just going to specify the folder um, outside of this folder, okay? So um, looking in at the folder that we shared, right? Select, all right? Uh, and then this is desktop data set, which is this folder here. And then we hit verify local data. So it's going to make all these percentages go up, right? So what, what does that mean? Uh, it means that all the that all the entirety of the file that we're supposed to be sharing is actually located in this folder, right? That the file we had is in fact the correct file uh, based on the um, information in the .tor file. Okay. So now uh, everything else is fine. Start when added is convenient because it's going to immediately start sharing it once we hit add. Right, so that's what we want. Uh, we'll hit add. Uh, right now we have a green bar, which is very good. Uh, it means that our file is lo properly loaded on this machine uh, and that it's uh, ready to go. Okay, so we can see upload right here. So upload um, says it's at zero, zero, because no one's downloading the data from us yet. Right? Um, so to demo someone downloading the data um, from us, I have a remote machine connected here. Right, which is uh, in another location, um, and I'm going to use the AT down utility to download the data via Academic Torrents from the machine that I'm on here. All right. So what does it mean? So we, what I'm going to show you first is this ls operation, um, and then I'm actually going to download it. Okay. So let's go back to this page. All right. We can go back here and we can refresh it. All right. So uh, it doesn't give us that status anymore, and we see the page that will be viewed. Um, we can select the info hash which is right at the top of this url right uh, alternatively we can go to the technical page uh, scroll down where it says info hash okay copy that so i'm going to copy that right here uh, and then we can go to at down ls all right what this is going to do is list the contents of this torrent right stored at this info hash okay um, now we want to download it so let's Delete ls and just run this again. All right, so it allocated the space and then it's going to try to uh, locate somewhere where it's hosted and download it locally. Uh, so if we go back to transmission, it's both open, okay, you can see that this is now currently uploading data and this is currently downloading data. So it's at 3% so far. Um, and you'll see this, this will. Um, run uh, this, this will say upload as long as this one's downloading at roughly the same rate because they're, they're they can't be uh, exactly the same because there's a time delay from when these bits are being sent and these bits are being received okay so um, we can see an overview of this whole situation on this academic terms website right so if we refresh this page uh, we'll get the most up-to-date information uh, you can see that uh, the hosting location is in Cambridge, Mass., uh, which is where I'm giving this demo right now. All right, so that's this transmission client here. All right, so if we scroll down more, uh, we can see the, ser the, the actual um, server locations in this um, communication. All right, we see uh, one mirror, which is me in Cambridge. All right, and I'm using the transmission client here. Okay, uh, and then we see uh, a location in Boston. Right, using the AT downloader, right, which is this command line tool. So we can actually see 
the interaction uh, between these two. Um, okay. All right, so we can uh, refresh this again uh, and take a look, and it's uh, it's moving. So we can wait for this to finish. Okay, so the download has finished. Um, so if we go and look in this folder, uh, we can see that that file, that folder is no there. Uh, we can go take a look at it. And we see that there are three files uh, located in that folder. And these are, in fact, the same ones that we intended to send. We can also see that the transmission client now no longer says that it's uploading uh, the data. Uh, it also says that the ratio of upload to download is now one uh, because we've sent all the data to the other person, right? Um, great.